Hello again, it's Jess Beard from Inner Alchemist. And today I wanted to be answering a question. It is, what is five things you can do to repurpose the three-day challenge that you've just completed or you're in the process of planning for and what can you do after it? So the first thing is turning it into a lead magnet. So there's a couple of different ways that you could do this. You could have an opt-in page and then you just send them straight to a landing page with the three days all on the one landing page. Or you could turn it into a three-part video email sequence. And on the opt-in page, you would say, hey, over the next three days, the next three videos, I'm sending you this. And you'll be able to take some screenshots of some comments that you got during your challenge, maybe a testimonial or something on that opt-in page to really make people understand the value that they have. If you also then have your landing page and you've got all the three things listed, I would still be putting more comments, testimonials, things that really showcased that people enjoyed it. They got a lot of value from it. And it just helps to build that trust, trust that, hey, you know what you're talking about. You have, you know, walked your walk, talked your talk, and you, you can provide value and get that result from them. I also suggest with any freebie that you have some kind of bump offer or you're leading them into some kind of um, higher price program, that there is some reason that you are creating this opt-in in the first place. You can then send them into an email sequence. Maybe you're creating the three-day challenge because in a month or two months time, you have a specific three month program that you're going to be doing and you're wanting to fill your email list with ideal clients and ideal people. So you want to get a little bit strategic around why you're creating and wording your offer and what you're leading them into. So the next thing, number two, that you can do with your challenge if you're repurposing it is turn it into a free giveaway during a bundle or a collaboration. So you've probably noticed that I myself do um, my giveaways and, and bundles at the beginning of each month and they're spiritual themed. But there is tons of other people out there who are doing business and specific niche bundles and they're all looking for people who want to give something away for free that is of high value. So this is still tied into number one, it being a form of a lead magnet. But number one would be like on your website or you would be doing a Facebook ad to it. Whereas in number two, doing it as a freebie in a bundle means that you're going and collaborating and giving it out that way. So similar to number one, you would have on the landing page, you would create some kind of strategy with an offer or send them into a, a welcome email sequence. So it's very similar. It's just different in how you're positioning it and setting it out. So number one, it is on your website or an ad. Number two, you're part of that bundle, but it's still very, very similar. The other thing that you can do, number three, is turn it into a low ticket offer or a, um, a tripwire. So you can sit there and go, actually, during these three days, I gave tons and tons and tons of value. This is worth paying for. And you can turn it into a $9, $27, $37 offer, whatever you feel comfortable doing. You can then sell that as a really high value bump offer. So say you're selling one of your products already for $50, $100, $27, and it comes up with the bump offer and it's only $9 and you're like, oh my gosh, um, three videos on this, 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 and it's very specific and it's only $9 done and you purchase it. So it can be a very valuable and rich 
a $9 bump offer, or you could turn it into a $27 tripwire, which, you know, it just has that more value. You could advertise it on your website as is, and you turn it into a mini online course as well. So you can actually turn it into something that you monetize, whether it's through the bump or through the tripwire. The other thing that you can do is if your other offers, other freebies, other tripwires, you can put that $27 offer at the bottom of other landing pages as that tripwire. So you can turn it into the bump or the tripwire depending on what you're wanting to do with it. And remember, this is your business and you can make the decisions. So you can trial both. You could discount it to $9 as a bump, see how it moves. You could have it as $27 as the tripwire and see how it moves you know, I highly recommend that you trial lots of different things. And as you're building out funnels, having these little bumps and, and tripwires actually really help to get some extra money coming in, building that value. And you also think of a three-day challenge as like a really nice long handshake where they get to spend more time with you, learn more from you. And it's building that likability, building the trust, building the, the authority that you know what you're talking about. So it is really something that's quite juicy that you can utilise. Another thing that you can do is you can, number four, give it away as a bonus when you are selling something else. So say you have a very similar aligned coaching package or you might be selling something that's priced at $97 or $497 or a $5,000 coaching package. The, the price is not the problem. It's the bonuses that you're giving away. And if you're giving away a three-part video series um, or a um, the get the replay to this three-day challenge and you go into detail, once again, putting in to those little pictures of people's comments and testimonials can also help if this is on a sales page, depending on how much of a bonus you're wanting it to be. If you're selling a larger coaching program, you might have five different bonuses that they get and you probably wouldn't emphasize this as much it would just add value but if you're selling a $97 product and then they're getting this three-day challenge for free as a bonus I would put more effort into like showcasing how valuable it is because you really want it to sound hugely valuable and um, for your $97 offer so it's you can utilize it in many, many different ways. And lastly, number five of how to repurpose a challenge. You can save it in the guide section of your Facebook group as part of your free resources and use that all the time in many different ways on how to continuously grow your Facebook group. You can run ads specifically if you're wanting to grow it that way. You could have it on your website or you can be utilizing it as a call to action very casually over and over and over. For example, I am going to use this specific technique right this moment. And I'm going to say to you guys that I welcome you into my Facebook group. And I'm going to put the link in the description below. And you can come join my Facebook group. And the, this video and many other videos are all in the guide section of my Facebook group so that I can be constantly and consistently giving lots of value. Now, with my business, I actually have it split into a couple of different genres. I have the archetypes, which is all about empowerment and understanding your patterns. I've got alchemy, which is about the alchemist archetype and 
and the energetics and the quantum aspects of business and your life and empowerment. And then I have business techniques. I have business tips. I have business tools because my business has grown that way because I have all these beautiful people empowering themselves, shifting through their imposter syndrome, their people pleaser, um, feeling, you know, that they're not good enough, the witch wound, procrastinator, the perfectionist, the judge, the inner critic, all of those things are all tied in. But once you start healing those things, you're like, I want to step up and start doing the things I've been called to and, and answering my purpose in life and following my passion and my calling. And the natural progression for that is to take your business online. And that's where I help my clients with business aspects. They are really wanting to bring their personal genius and their calling out into the world. And that is why I have business tips tied in with everything. I'm constantly putting more things in the resources of my Facebook group. And it's my little pocket of wisdom that you can always join at any time. I'm going to put the link below that. I hope that you have found this really valuable. And you can go, oh my gosh, I'm going to run challenges all the time um, because it will benefit. I'm also going to put up a blog post as well with a little bit more information about uh, challenges. And that blog post will be in the Facebook group as well. So I hope you found this very useful. I hope you go forth, you create challenges. I hope you repurpose it and remember I gave you five ways to repurpose it you can use it for all of them in you know experiment in your business don't hesitate to do that and lastly if you have any questions in relation to business don't hesitate to reach out on media on social media on Facebook and I'll also put a little link because you can book in and have a free chat. And I'm really good with coming up with strategies for businesses who are absolutely just starting out because I was there three years ago. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next video and the next question I have to answer for people. Bye.